Well, it's cold again this morning. It's somewhere between 15 and 18, but depending on who you ask or where you stand, but everything started. I got a bad habit of not plugging stuff in, but uh, everything cranked off. We got a snowstorm moving in tonight. We're gonna try to beat. Got a pretty cool little project this morning, but uh, I'm hungry, so first things first. All right, you have a donut. Sharp of milk, breakfast of champions. I think we're ready to do this. All right, guys, here's today's project. I got a good family friend. He owns a zip line park. He's got a bunch of uh, 50 or no, they're 40, no, they're probably 48 foot van trailers, like older van trailers. And he's got them set around in the strategic locations and got billboards on them for advertising. Well, the wind huffed and puffed and blew one over. It's laying on the side. So we're gonna go over there with the low boy trailer and the winch and the loader and try to flip this bugger back up on its wheels without doing any more damage to it. I'm not a record service by no means, but we're gonna give it our best shot. So let's uh, see what happens. All right guys, there she is. It must have been a pretty good gust of wind that blew the thing uphill and flopped it over. But uh, here's my redneck plan. I'm gonna back my low boy trailer up here and try to get that tail lowered, talk against that wheel. I'm gonna have to jackknife it because there's a telephone pole over there. Come up over the wheels, try to get tight onto that subframe real well. That way I can use the winch and kind of the trailer will hold the bottom and lay it over. And then also it should be able to come down pretty easy because I can raise and lower that dovetail on my trailer to uh, kind of control the final descent. Probably gonna have to take that loader of some sort and kind of hold up on these jack stands to protect that leg, keep that leg from getting bent. I'm not sure if that brace is strong enough to hold it. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to bend that leg. So I don't know. We'll uh, get it all rigged up here once, and I guess start tugging on it and see what we got. Luke's over there getting the loader un unchained, so get it, get it unloaded, get everything in place, and start pulling on her and see what happens. Frozen grass ain't one of them, they ain't worth a crap. But, anyways, we got a chain ran up over the tire. I don't know if you can see the sun. Coming down the frame, both sides. We're gonna put this board up here so if that gets tight, it'll kind of kick that out and I'll get back on there. We got my winch line doubled up, uh, slow it down a little bit and get a little extra pull. And we're gonna probably take out a loader. As it starts coming over, get it underneath that fifth wheel plate there and just kind of help hold it up to uh, protect that dolly leg. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but of course, there is Hex going to give it a try. I know that sun's over there, it's hard for you guys to see, but I think that's a better view of the winch, winch lines there. See what happens.
playing a dang flawless plan if I wasn't sitting on my stupid oversized load sign. Got the dang hurry. One more. Whoa, baby. One more. All right, let her down. That's it. Go around the front and put the block underneath those legs. Grass texture to it, but uh. For the most part, I think everything survived. Don't look too bad at all. Come in a little bit. All right, straight up. Tilt back. Straight up. Good. All right, we're gonna put the boards underneath these legs so it don't sink in the ground, load up, and get All right, out of here. down. Beautiful. Eagle's wing zip line. There she is, right side up. I hope you enjoyed that video if you did if you could just take a few seconds to hit that thumbs up button that'd be greatly appreciated and if you want to make sure you don't miss out on the next great adventure or the next project on dirt perfect hit that subscribe button <laughs>